What's not so African about African art? Art throughout the years have changed dramatically. From cave paintings to masks and sculptures to photography and video. The meaning of art has changed as well. Started off being something spiritual and ritualistic, now strictly political. The Sand People. With the Sand People's art, their art is based on experience that their leader would have. They will go in a trance-like stage, and when they when that stage came, they would draw what they had experienced in that stage. This art is, is a really spiritual art. Shows what they were experiencing in the trans-like stage. The Sanufo people. With the Sanufo people, their art is very spiritual and ritualistic. The Sanufo people believed in ancestors and nature, native spirit. They had figures that they made and that represented the ancestors. And they have a society called the Poro Society that was thought to guarantee a good relationship between the living world and the ancestors as well. Their art, their form of art has changed dramatically and also their belief system, religion has changed. Maliko Mogasi. Maliko tries to have a connection with African roots. Maliko's paintings show symbols which is popular in traditional African art. His meaning of his art is to help connect himself and others back to the African roots. Meaning changes in the work of art. As an, as an example, from spiritual to emotional. For me, this means that Maliko is trying to find his roots. Political art. Many Africans' main point in creating their works is strictly political. This is true for contemporary art. Example of artists like this are Carrie Mae Weems, Carrie J. Marshall, and Fahomu Peko. With th these three artists, their works are trying to bring awareness to black lives. All three artists, all three artists base work on brutality against black people or misconceptions on black people. Carrie Mae Weems does this by blurring the picture to show how people don't really focus or see black lives. Carrie J. Marshall work artwork is about victims of gun violence, how they were lost in the ghetto, public housing, joblessness, and literacy. Fahamu Peko artwork is about common misconception about black lives and the misconce misconceptions people have about them. All his paintings, the men are really dark to show this is what people think of them. In reality, they all come in different colors. Michaela Pillar Brown is also showing political aspect. She references a traditional African mask, but does not have the same meaning. In this painting, she has an X over her mouth to keep quiet. Quiet about her political ideas and such. The soldier on top of the head shows her thoughts of being monitored or censored. In this painting, it shows a political statement she wants to make to the world. 
this is another example of how of how African traditional art differs from contemporary contemporary art. Colonial impact. After colonies started going into Africa, it changed how traditional art was seen and made dramatically. In this sculpture, we see the impact the colonizers had on the culture. On the statue's head, it has a hat. It's a commonly, commonly used hat for the colonizers and it was implanted in this culture. The Queen Mother Pendant is another example. It's in reference to the Portuguese culture and how they affected them by bringing wealth. Conclusion. Throughout time, the meaning and the way art is portrayed has changed so much. The way it has changed is from, as an example, the Sanufo people. The Sanufo people had art that was very spiritual and ritualistic. Their form of art has changed also with their belief system and also their religion. Another example is political art. It changed because original art is supposed to be spiritual and and ritual. And it went and talked about Black Lives Matter and they bring awareness to black lives. As an example, Carrie Mae Weems does this a lot. You can see all these examples in my video. All these examples conclude to why I think there is nothing African about African art. Thank you. Fresh. On the poplar trees.